challenge-based learning. The strategic focus of this funding call was transforming teaching and learning for student success. For this project, we focused on challenge-based learning and how we could enhance student success through incorporating CBL into our programs. The overarching goal of this project was to provide CPD activities to support staff that wish to integrate CBL into their programs. Challenge-based learning will be central to DCU's teaching and learning strategy over the coming years, driven by the university's success in securing very substantial funding for DCU Futures under Pillar 3 of the Human Capital Initiative and its participation in the EU's European Universities Initiative as a partner in the ECIU University. As DCU Futures commits DCU to developing a number of new programmes and pathways in existing programmes that will have challenge-based learning as a core element along uh, with considerable online elements, therefore this SATL project has direct alignment with DCU's strategic plans. This project is divided into four parts. The collation and creation of resources, provision of CPD for staff, enhancement of learning spaces, and the implementation of students as partners approach within our curriculum. First, looking at the staff resources, we collated a literature review on uh, challenge-based learning, CBL, and we also created a suite of resources um, that's now available both on our virtual learning environment and also on DCU's main website. With regards to the CPD events, we ran a suite of workshops relating to CBL and they were all run for staff covering the pedagogies that are the foundation to challenge-based learning, such as group work and peer assessment, along with learning design workshops to help staff develop new programs and also redesign existing ones. All of these equated to over 600 person hours of CPD through this project alone. Furthermore, we were able to use this product to conduct a study visit to our ECU par ECIU partner institution that specialise in CBL. You'll see there the hackathon. This was the flagship CPD event for this project. We had over 50 staff from multiple disciplines across the entire university engage in the day-long event, which was to redesign assessments. We had 10 teaching and learning experts from Irish and, higher, uh, Irish and UK higher education sector act as mentors for the day. And we also had student ambassadors involved throughout the day to give staff feedback and support to the solutions that the staff proposed as part of the hackathon. The next element and a large part of this project is the implementation of the students as partners methodology within our programs. We chose to focus this aspect of the project on students as partners in assessment. A literature review was commissioned to scope out the current partnership practices and to synthesize these into useful practical approaches that lecturers could undertake with their students. These practical approaches were grouped into three categories, self and peer assessment, assessment tasks and criteria, and collaborative grading. Within these three categories, the possible approaches exist along a continuum from simple to more complex. And as this continuum mirrors the ladder of student participation, according to Boval and Bully. In tandem with this literature review, Eight lectures were recruited to pilot assessment partnership approaches across 11 different modules. These approaches included self and peer assessment, giving students choice with assessment and co-creation of assessment tasks and also assessment rubrics. By far the most common um, approach that was utilized was self and peer assessment. And it was a generally a positive experience for both staff and students and staff indicating they wish to continue to utilize these methods. The pilots were evaluated by way of staff and student engagement 
and 77% of the student respondents responded strongly agreed strongly agreed or agreed that they felt involved or engaged with this module because of the assessment partnership. And 64% of student respondents felt they performed well in the module because of being involved in this partnership. Aligning this with 87% of staff respondents felt that students' partnership approach enabled better student performance in their assessment. And they also felt that students' as partners uh, enabled a greater student engagement. Similarly, they stated they will continue with the students' partnership um, into the future. And building on this foundational work that we were able to, to get off the ground with this project, we'll continue to support lecturers to embed student partnership into their practices. Following the success of all of the aforementioned elements of the project, the last piece in the jigsaw is learning spaces. Findings from our lit review and the focus groups that we had with staff helped inform and influence separate university projects that was on the design of learning spaces. The learning spaces that were created were improved through this project and they'll act as a template for future enhancements of learning spaces that will help facilitate the teaching of CBL. So in terms of um, impact and sustainability, four words spring to mind, outputs, collaboration, engagement, and outcomes. And let's start with the outputs. These are the easiest to measure. We provided, as I said, over 600 person hours of CPD. We created numerous staff resources and student resources, and we helped upgrade to learning spaces. Then there's collaboration. This project resulted in collaboration internally within the university, nationally across the sector, and internationally as well. We've established multidisciplinary CBL networks within the university. We've had numerous institutions throughout Ireland visit our learning spaces that we've designed resulting from this project. Our hackathon brought together mentors from 11 different higher education institutions. That initially was to support our event on the day, but now has led to several follow on collaborations. All of these collaborations will feed directly into future teaching and learning initiatives, as well as helping inform future CPD activities for our staff and indeed our students. Engagement is the other word. Engagement on top of engaging so many different staff in the CPD, the more impressive impact of this project is the strong student engagement that has resulted from this uh, project. The students as partners approach has led to significant increase in student engagement in their learning. Research is still underway to, to continue to further determine the impact of this approach. There are now many more examples throughout the university of students as partners approach along that continuum of options that were mentioned earlier on. Finally, and for me, probably the most most important impact of uh, this project is the overall outcome. And this project has helped us change the mindsets, the mindsets of staff by showing them firsthand to see the benefits of using a students as partners approach, the benefits of changing the way they teach and integrating in CBL as an overall approach, um, as a, an, an overarching pedagogy throughout our modules. This change in mindset will last long beyond the lifetime of this project. So I want to wrap up by thanking the National Forum for funding the project and thanking all the staff that have engaged and continue to engage with this project. If you would like more information on this project, please visit the Teaching Enhancements Unit's webpage within the DCU website or contact me directly on mark.glynn at dcu.ie.